Hello, my favorite niece. How are you today? You mean your only niece? Well, yes, of course, darling. I'm being sarcastic. You know, sarcasm. Oh, yes, you mean that thing that runs in the family that drives all the normies crazy? Yes, that. So what are you up to? I'm at the dog park with Tilly. Actually, a nice day for once. Yes, it's been so nasty out, hasn't it? It's definitely been affecting my mood. Yeah, Tilly's too. She snapped at me yesterday when I tried to clean off her paws. That little devil. That little something. Well, she is a miniature poodle. They can be very high maintenance sometimes. But they're smart, aren't they? Yeah, a little too smart. Well, you know, we used to get those purebred dogs, but now your uncle insists we get mutts from the pound. That's what I would have done, but someone left me with a poodle. Ah, she who must not be named. The one and the same. So Tilly was her dog, and when she left, she left her too? Yep. God, that is horrible. Still, it worked out, and I wound up falling in love with the little devil. Well, she's a beautiful animal, that chocolate brown fur, so soft and fluffy, like a little teddy bear. Not like other poodles, all shaved in weird ways. Oh yeah, no shave for Tilly. She gets what they call a puppy cut. Oh really, and why do they call it that? Uh, I don't know, really. I guess because it makes them look like puppies. I like small dogs because they always seem like puppies. Of course, we have big dogs now. Big dogs who shed and shed and shed. The floors in your house sometimes look like a barber shop. Oh gee, thanks. Hey, I said sometimes. Well, at least I don't have to pay for a groomer all the time. That's true, that does begin to add up. And in this economy, who could afford it? Certainly not me. Plus, then you have the tax, then the tip, it never ends. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, I totally forgot. What? The dog show, the McAfee Amateur Dog Show. It's next Saturday afternoon and I totally forgot. Oh dear, I'm so sorry. I would have reminded you if I, well, if I thought you would forget. I registered Tilly for it months ago and it just slipped my mind completely. And I've been so busy with the paintings that I haven't had any time to get her groomed or anything. What's the name of that groomer you take her to? Do you still take her there? Yeah, April Mossy. I've been taking her there for a long time but I totally forgot to call and make an appointment and I'm sure she's all booked up. She's very popular, very in demand. Well, I do have someone that could possibly be available. I mean, if you'd be interested. Who, I thought you didn't know any more groomers. Well, she's a friend of my hairdresser actually. Oh, do they go to the same cosmetology school or something? Hardy har, so hilarious. Well, anyway, my friend says she's really good. I could get her number for you. Really? Do you think she'd be able to get me in? I don't know. Maybe. What's her name? I don't know. I, I think Jill something. Well, I suppose it's worth a shot. I'm not pulling Tilly out of it now. The registration was a hundred bucks. Damn. Yeah, for an amateur dog show. Why is it so expensive? I don't know. Insurance, I guess. But I have a bigger problem now. And what's that? Well, Tilly's way behind in her training, so I only have 11 days to get her up to speed on all those little dog show things. Okay, well, I'll text you her number ASAP. Thanks, Aunt Hilda, you're a lifesaver. Don't mention it, dear. Hello, is this Jill? Yes, it is. Can I ask who this is? This is Susie, Hilda's niece. She gave me your number. About my miniature poodle getting groomed? Oh, yes, of course. How are you, darling? Pretty good, except kind of in a bind with Tilly. Aw, Tilly, such a beautiful name. And don't worry, your aunt told me all about it. Oh, that's so wonderful. I was beginning to think I was going to have to withdraw her from the show. It's so late and I really didn't think I'd be able to find anybody. I guess a lot of people are booked up for the dog shows. Yep, yeah, but not me. I don't do just anybody, you see. Only special clients. Oh, and I'm special? Well, this is a favor to my dear friend. Oh, yeah, my aunt's hairdresser, right? Mm, yes, Patty, and mine too. She's wonderful. We've been best friends for 20 years. Wow, really? That's great. Yes, it really is. Old friends are so important. Best friends since our school days. Oh, you two went to high school together? Oh, no, no. College? Cosmetology school. Oh, you went to cosmetology school? Oh, yes, and almost graduated, too. 
Oh. <laughs> Ultimately, I just wasn't interested in working with human beings. They're just so fickle and chatty. Yeah, I guess dogs don't really talk a whole lot, do they? Oh, dogs talk plenty. You just have to know how to listen to them. I definitely agree with that. Tilly has no problem telling me what she wants. If she doesn't get her walk, I'm followed around the house like I'm being suspected of shoplifting. Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Although body language, too, is very important. I mean that dogs, uh, some dogs, can actually make sounds that, if you listen closely enough, are human. Oh, yeah, I've seen those videos on YouTube, like the dog says hello or crying for its owner or whatever. Funny stuff. No, that's not funny. It's real. That's how the canine species is now communicating. They are evolving to speak like humans, don't you see? Gee, do you really think so? Well, of course. You've seen the videos. Your eyes and ears aren't lying to you, are they? I don't think so. I mean, it would only make sense that this would be what they would evolve to do next. Man's best friend and all. And woman's. Humankind. Humankind's best friend. I like that. Very good. Has a lovely ring to it. I'm so glad you're an animal lover. Of course. You'd be shocked at the amount of dog owners who seem to not even care about the animals. Oh, no. Oh, yes. They just got it for their kid, or it's their mother's, or whatever. It's pathetic, really. They're members of the family, are they not? Absolutely. I don't know what I'd do without my little Tilly. What are your dog's names? Oh, I don't have any dogs of my own. No, no. Really? You just groom them? I love dogs, but not in my home. I have a number of priceless antiques. Plus, they can be rather filthy animals, can't they? Well, I suppose they can be, sometimes. Well, I would know. I bathe the creatures. Well, yeah. And those little, little poodles with those thick coats, they just soak up the dirt and dust and grime like little Swiffer brooms, don't they? Well, I, I try to give her a bath every week. Oh, dear. W what kind of shampoo do you use? Um, I think it's called uh, Uncle Dave's Doggy Wash. Oh, no. Throw it out right now. Why? What's wrong with it? Uncle Dave's is practically toxic, dear, don't you know? That's only for uh, pit bulls, mutts, and junkyard dogs, and it also smells terrible. Well, I think it smells okay. Nonsense! In fact, you should probably get her into my shop as soon as you can so we can wash out any of Uncle Dave's residue. Oh, okay, well, the show isn't for another week. I'd be seeing her multiple times before the show anyway. Oh, you, you would? Of course, she has to be properly pampered. So, speaking of pampered, what style of cut were you two looking for? I was thinking of a puppy cut. Oh, oh dear. A puppy cut is bad? Well, for a dog show, I mean, I think you'd want something with a little more uh, pizzazz. Yeah, but she looks so cute with the puppy cut, like a little teddy bear, you know? So you don't want any shaving? Uh, no, I mean, it's just not really our thing, you know, with the pom-pom on the head and the little feet and all. It just looks weird. Weird? Yeah, just kind of, you know, ridiculous. Okay, well, anyway, uh, so how's about Friday at 7.30? 7.30 p.m.? Well, no, of course not. 7.30 in the morning. It's the earliest I'd be able to do this week. Oh, uh, that's... Okay, I guess, but um, I won't be able to pick her up, so my Aunt Hilda is going to do it. All right, then, that's no problem. I'll see you and Tilly Friday, dear, bright and early. And remember, no more Uncle Dave's. Right, Jill, got it. Thanks. You're welcome, darling. Your Tilly will come in first place, and if she doesn't, I will light myself on fire in front of the convention center. Oh, don't, don't do that. <laughs> Hi, Jill. This is Susie. Oh, hello, Susie. How are you? Your aunt just left a little bit ago with your girl. What a lovely woman. Oh, yes, yeah, she's darling, isn't she? Well, um, the thing is, though, Jill, Tilly looks a little, um, yes? Shaved. Shaved? Well, yes, in certain areas, she has been shaved. Certain areas? She's been shaved in pretty much all the areas I specifically didn't want her shaved at. I mean, she looks like she just stepped off the pages of French Poodle Vogue. Well, I was going to call you about that later, dear. You see, there was just a slight accident during the cut. A slight accident? What, like, what kind of slight accident? Well, you see, uh, I, I have, uh, 
I'm hypoglycemic, and I was a little low on sugar earlier today, dear. Low on sugar? Yes, my good-for-nothing son was supposed to bring me my frappuccino, but he had some emergency. His wife was going into labor or something, so my sugar was low, and I got a little shaky. You got so shaky from your sugar being low that you made my dog look like the cowardly lion? Well, my hand slipped and I shaved a big chunk of hair out of her back, so I was trying to even it up. And then one thing led to another, and I wouldn't say she looks like the cowardly lion. I think the cut is actually quite becoming of her. Well, I suppose a dog's haircut is subjective, but I can't say it's exactly what I wanted. Well, dear, I can assure you that the dog show judges are going to just love it. I really do hope that she has the proper training, because in the looks department, she has nothing to worry about. Well, maybe they will love it, but the point is that it's not what I asked for, like, at all. Well, I told you it was an accident. What more do you want from me? I wish you had just called me and told me what happened. Then maybe we could have come up with a solution together. Well, I'm a professional. That's what you pay me for. Not only my skills, but my opinion, my sense of style of my art. I thought it was more of a service job, but... Oh, please, do you see me driving around in some truck with some ridiculous name on it, going from neighborhood to neighborhood? Parking lot to parking lot, offering up dog grooming services on the spot? No, this is a canine beauty salon, and I am a canine beautician. All right, Jill, fine. I just wish you'd be honest and tell me that you just wanted to give her a different cut than I asked for. That is a shocking allegation, and I will not even dignify it with an answer. Well, I'm sorry, but I'm just a little shocked myself at the sight of my dog all carved up. Carved up? Oh, please, you're so dramatic. Excuse me? Well, what do you want? Do you want your money back or something? Is that what this is about? Well, no, but since you're offering... Well, I'm not giving you your money back. I did the work we agreed on. A bath, a cut, and what else? I have the bill right here. Well, you certainly gave her a cut, all right. You don't want to pay for the cut? Then fine, just pay for the bath. All right, well, fine. Change it then. Well, fine, I will. I wish you good luck at your little amateur dog show, but only because I want my handiwork to be appreciated. You know, by someone with a little taste and class. Okay, thanks a lot, Jill. Goodbye. Hi, is this Mr. Beetle from the dog show? Yes, it is. How can I help you today? Hi, Mr. Beetle. I have a question about the upcoming amateur show. And will your dog be in attendance? Yes, she will. And competing? Well, yes. Name, please? Um, Susie Smith? Your dog's name is Susie Smith? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's my name. <laughs> I thought you, uh, meant my name. No, I meant the dog's name. Tilly. Her, um, her name is Tilly. And what kind of dog is Tilly? She's a miniature poodle. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Fine breed. A little hyper, though. A little rambunctious. Yes, she certainly can be. But quite smart. Oh, yes. Scary smart. You know, my mother had two miniature poodles when she was younger. Oh, did she? Yes, during the war. Oh, wh which war? I don't know. One of them. She never said. But their names were Liz and Dickie. Interesting names. Yes, she named all of her dogs after movie stars. Those were Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton, of course. Ah, well, I hope they got along a little better. Just barely. So, yes, Miss Smith, I do see you and Tilly on the list right here. So, how may I help you? Well, the thing is, Mr. Beetle, I took Tilly in to be groomed a few days ago, and... Yes, and something went horribly afoul with it, and now you have no idea what to do or how to fix it. And you're calling me in a blind panic in desperate need of my help. Yeah... Something like that. Okay, exactly like that. All right, then. Tell me what happened. Well, I used a new groomer, you see. Oh, no. That was your first mistake. Always go with someone trusted and reliable. I know, I know, but I couldn't get into my person because I, uh, I forgot the show was this weekend. And the groomer is the one with the problem here? Well, I asked her specifically to give Tilly a puppy cut, and she went full-on shaved poodle look. Yes, that is called the Continental. You mean that weird shaved poodle haircut with the little balls on the feet and stuff? It's it's called the Continental? Yes, this is what I just said. Hmm, well, figures. Anyway, I, uh, tried to fix it a little myself. Fix it? What was wrong with it? The Continental is a very popular cut with our judges. It almost always is a surefire way to get at least a decent score showing, especially in the amateur shows. 
Oh. Oh, great. So what have you done to her? Well, uh, let's just say she's, uh... She's what? Bald. Bald? Yeah, she's bald. Well, what do you mean, bald? I mean bald. You're bald, right? I mean, you sound bald. Well, uh, yes, I am balding. Follically challenged, I prefer to think of it as. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean any offense. Well, what do you expect me to do about your bald poodle? I mean, I guess I want to know, do you get a lot of bald poodles? I can't think of ever having a single one. Really? And you've been doing these things for a long time, haven't you? Almost 35 bloody years at this point. Hmm, so you're saying we really don't have much of a chance at the show, do we? I could lie to you and tell you that perhaps the showing itself would save you, but I doubt that very much. And why is that? Oh, just a feeling. So you think we should just drop out then? Well, we already have your money, so whatever you do is up to you. Great, thanks. You can present her, but I can't imagine it being anything but an unmitigated disaster for the both of you. Well, we've come this far. Oh lord, you're actually still going through with it? Well, yeah, why not? Uh, because, my dear, this is a high-class event. Oh, really? Well, I didn't know that. Excuse us. Might I ask who your groomer was? The one whose work you so viciously defaced and disgraced? Her name's Jill Baylor. Jillian Baylor? Well, I know Jillian. Oh, you do, do you? She does all of the richest dogs in town. And you shaved her work? Yeah, I thought it sucked. You thought Jillian Baylor's work sucked? Well, at least on my dog, yeah. My dear miss, if you hadn't already paid your registration fee, I'd make sure you were denied entry this year. Because I said the haircut sucked? That is borderline blasphemy in our world. Just wait until I tell her the next time I see her at the show. Oh, she's going to be at the show too, is she? Funny she didn't mention that. Are you kidding? She goes every year. She does all the top dogs. In the real categories, not the amateurs. And by the sound of it, you and Tilly aren't even that. Well, I'm surprised she works so much and is so trusted with all her blood sugar problems. What do you mean blood sugar problems? You know, the hypoglycemia. Didn't she tell you she has it? <laughs> I know Jillian Baylor as well as anybody, and I can assure you she has no issues revolving around sugar. Oh, really? She doesn't get... shaky? The old bat is as steady as a rock. So, um, will she be at the amateur show as well? Of course, she goes to all the shows. She's always on the lookout for new talent, new business, whatever. And are the dogs allowed to wear clothing as they're shown? Strictly forbidden. Okay, great, just checking. Thanks a lot, Mr. Beetle. See you soon. The both of you. Instead of focusing on Tilly's training, Susie decided to plan for a different kind of show. She had a little shirt made for Tilly which read, Grooming by Jill Baylor, and Tilly wore it for the entire showcase, which she failed miserably. She knocked down nearly every bar, couldn't figure out how to go up and down the ramps, and seemed generally more interested in smelling where the other dogs had been than following the path. Susie and the crowd thought it was hilarious, and the two of them were clearly the highlight of the entire day. They came in last place in the judges' competition, but first in the audience award. Jill and Beetle stood from the rafters the entire time, their arms crossed, scowling. 